The facilities were good with a separate kitchen for any type of cooking you wished to do. A small but functional room as was the bathroom. A comfortable bed, housekeeping available, tidy up only, every day. The property was very big and quite run down window broken on sweet bedroom no heating absolutely freezing when entered they put heating on but two radiators were broken. They also stuck window back with sellotape but still so cold. There were so many drafts and heard wind loudly at night. If not the apartment letting agents. I didn't backslashed really like the stay at all. From the receptionists who were quite passive aggressive and gave very short attention in relation to at least offer some help. The rooms down backslash look like the pictures but it was passable. Place has seen better days, and mild facelifting required, just money, lots of it, of course, but keep the metal windows, and upgrade the flat pack furniture. Check-in procedure for one night backslash is tossed down was a curious identity confirmation procedure suggesting a I sensitivity to- I was dealt with to by a great concierge lady. She was friendly and spoke to me about London. I wasn't expecting the room to be as spacious as it was. It was clean and enough space for two people. 35 pounds per day for parking and Wi-Fi is not free. It was probably our fault that we haven't backslash checked, but parking made this trip so much more expensive. Before leaving, we got the car out of the paid parking because it was paid until 8 o backslash clock and left it behind the hotel for 15 minutes.